Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life RP. Now today I want to expand my business. I have a lot of plans. You see, we have mastered alcohol. We have almost every type of alcohol stocked up at the bar. And oh, the checkpoint is actually being manned today. Hey officers. Can I please see your license, sir? Yes, sir. There you go. All right. That's all good. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Wow, it's a rarity to see that station manned, actually. But as I was saying, yeah, I'm heading to the farm right now because I need to buy a lot of crops and a lot of livestock. You see, I want to add food to the menu. I feel like that's just what's missing from the quirky turkey. The Ram Ranch, I love it. <laughs> Hiya, boys, how's it going? Hello, welcome back to the Ram Ranch. Thank you very much. I was wondering if I could buy um, a hefty amount of crops and even some livestock from you guys. Yeah, you can. What do you like? I've got a bit of a shopping list, if that's okay. So we have lettuce, tomato and leek, and then carrot and cocoa. When it comes to livestock, I mean, I would like some chicken and cows. I've never bought a cow. I don't know how much a cow would go for these days, but... Oh, they go for about 2,000 each. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah, okay. Oh, those are the chicken eggs. Oh, so I have to, like, hatch them myself. Do I have to, like, sit on them or something? Oh, I don't know if I've got a big enough backpack. This is a big shopping list, right? It is a very big shopping list, yeah. Okay, that was 6k, right? Um, I have no idea how much you're gonna get these cows out of here. Um, they're not exactly gonna fit. Actually, I have an idea. Okay, hold it there, boys. Oh dear, I'm coming in. Hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. All right, thank you, boys. See you later. Okay, I've just <laughs> got this cow on the helicopter. Off to the greenhouses we go, and I'll come back for the other one. Okay, and that is the second cow brought here. I knew this chopper would come in handy at some point. I don't exactly know where to put them, though. I'm thinking maybe we add, like, a little animal pen at the back here. I think that's probably the best way, so I'm going to get working on that. First of all, I need to plant all this hay because you actually need hay to breed all the animals. So we need quite a lot of it. And all the other seeds as well. We have leeks, we have carrots, we have cocoa even. We've got the whole shabam. Well, I think this is pretty cozy. I mean, it's very simple, but we have a chicken coop for the chickens. We have a nice open area for the cows and they even have a lovely view. I mean, look at that. I'm going to put the chickens in here in the chicken coop. Now that farmer actually gave me a lot of eggs. I don't even think I'll be able to fit them all in here. Look how cute these guys are, just dancing around, having a good time. Oh, it's a real shame what's going to happen to them. <laughs> okay, so I've got two adult cows and two baby cows, which will obviously eventually grow into adult cows. And we can just carry on the process. Wow, this farm in Malaki is, is a lot of work. Okay, so while the animals and the crops are growing, I'm going to take this heli back and I'm going to get some more ingredients as well. And by the time I come back, we should have some fully grown crops and animals. Well, the beach is popular today. I've just come down to do a bit of fishing. I don't know if this is a good place to do it. Will this reach here? It's so hot. It will. I really hope we get like a decent variety of fish as well, because I want to make a lot of different items for this menu. Oh, there we go. Did I miss that one? Oh, no, I didn't. I got a raw eel. Okay, that's going to make some good eel sandwiches. That looks a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Ooh, shrimp. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Okay. Would it be unethical to do a heist on a fishing boat and just steal all their fish instead of waiting here and getting them one by one myself? Queen, would you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Did we just get a proposal at the beach? <laughs> okay, I think that's my cue to get out of here. But yeah, I have a lot of fish in my inventory. And to be honest, everything in the greenhouse should be grown by now. So let's go find out and then get it all back to the quirky turkey and start cooking some food. Well, finally, everything is grown. I've got all the crops ready to go and the animals, they're ready too. I made some more cows and some more chickens and they seem to be getting along great. So I'm going to try and stuff all these in my car now and uh, take them to the bar. Okay, so before we actually head into the quirky turkey, 
I just need to stop by this general store right here. Because I just realized I have no dishes, no pans, no anything. So, hey, sir, how's Hello, it going? Sir. Good. What can I get you? I'm just wondering if I can buy a collection of your finest dishes, please. Along with uh, a frying pan, a butcher's knife, and a kitchen knife, if you have that. Okay. Uh, one second. Let me grab that. Thank you very much. Nice one. Thank you. How uh, much do I owe you? I suppose you got changed for a, a thousand? Uh, yeah, let me go get that. Oh, thank you. He's running out to the ATM, bless him. There he is. Sorry about that. No problem. Wonderful. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Thank you very this. much. Cheers. All right, let's stock this bar up. Now you'll notice I have made a few changes around here in preparation for the new food items. So I have a menu which is blank right now because I don't really know what's going to go on it yet. And I've taken the whole bar area and turned it into a kitchen. As you can see the lockers are now replaced with a cabinet and we have space to cook. And speaking of cooking, I think we should get started on this menu. So I think the first item I'm going to put on the menu is of course a burger. So first I need to make the buns. And all I need for that is some eggs, some wheat and some water. I can then mash it together and make some dough. And then if I put this oven on right here, I can bake this dough into lovely little bread buns. Look at that. Of course, it wouldn't be a cheeseburger without the cheese. So to make the cheese, all I need is this milk that I milked from my cow. And then I put it in this pan right here. Oh, okay, look at that. A full wheel of cheese. That is huge. <laughs> okay, that is one big wheel of cheese. Let me just take this knife here and slice this up just a little bit. And then finally, we need the meat. So, if I take this butcher knife and I have this cow here, I can actually just chop it up into beef. And then, of course, all we need to do is put the oven on and let it cook. Beautiful. And now we can assemble our burger. The first Quirky Turkey official burger is in my hands. Would you look at that? And it's not just a beef burger we can make. We can even make things like shrimp burgers as long as I've got lettuce, which I do. And there it is. Looking beautiful. All right, next up is gotta be a pizza. So the same process again, just make a bunch of dough. And we already have some cheese and beef. So let me just grab a tomato or two and we'll put it in the big pizza oven right here. And would you look at that, a beautiful fresh baked pizza ready to eat. All right, well, that is pretty much the whole menu done and dusted. We have burgers, fries, pizza, steak, sandwiches, chicken, you name it, we've got it. I'm very excited to be opening the bar tonight. Not just for that, but also, if you remember, we have all the paintings that we need to sell. Because, of course, in the last episode, we stole a bunch of very, very expensive paintings. So hopefully tonight, we are going to make a lot of money off of them. And of course, all the money is going to go towards buying the Mafia's mansion because we cannot let that go. Now, speaking of, real quick, before we open the bar and before it gets to nighttime, I need to actually head off to the office because I need to take Alistair's money that I put there in the last episode and take it to his hangar because I just completely forgot to do that. So I'm going to do that and then head back to the Quirky Turkey just in time for opening. Yeah, so like I said, I'm just coming here to quickly pick up the money that I left. What is this guy doing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> and hopefully we can get there before night time. Thank you very much. And we can get back in time for the opening of the Quirky Turkey. Okay, I don't think we left these little notes here. I think it was just the big ones, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, here it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, wonderful. There we go. All right, so I just need to quickly take this to the hangar and uh, we should be able to do it before night time, right? I hope so anyway. Oh, look at that. They've already got my plane ready for me. These guys are efficient. Uh, I just can ditch my car here for now. I should really pack it up. Thanks for looking after the plane, boys. Yeah, I have the cash in my inventory. I don't really need to load up the plane with anything. I always get so nervous taking off from this airfield, though, because literally it doesn't actually go in the air until the very last second. You know, one day I am going to get good at lining up these landings. I don't know if today is going to be that day, though. Ooh, I think I'm a little, yeah, I'm a little off. We might still be okay. We might still be decent. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Okay, I just need to bail. I mean, yeah, not, not my proudest, but we have made it to the hangar. I'm still not over this. Every time I see it, it absolutely amazes me. Okay, let's deposit some of this cash. I have all of this here, and again, it's just not going to make a dent. 
Okay, there we go. It's on the pile. You know, if I'm going to be doing this often, I should really get access to these lockers so I can just put it inside. Look at the ones at the back. They are stacked. I should really visit Alistair in prison as well. It's been a while since I've done that, but I can't be doing that today because the sun is going down and I need to get back to the quirky turkey as soon as possible. So I'm going to close this up, head on over to the bar, and we can finally open it up. Okay, it is nighttime, and there is a ton of people gathering outside the Quirky Turkey. The plan is, we're going to have a few drinks, sell some food, sell some alcohol, and then, you know the drill, we go upstairs, we do the auction. Okay, boys, are you ready to eat some food and to have some drinks? Yes. Okay, let's go. Come on in, everybody. Oh, we got a full house tonight. Oh, my goodness. Wow, okay. How much would it cost for, like, 10 beers? 10 beers that would be approximately 500. Do you like 10? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. There you go, sir. All the whiskey, all the whiskey all the already. Do you know how much we have? All, all right, you're looking at like five grand for all the whiskey? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I've got it. Okay, okay. Can you uh, grab everything in the shop? Like thank you. I'll drop it all now. Food. Remember, one bottle equals two glasses, so. Can I get the vodka and a red wine? Yes, you can, sir. All right, sir, that is 270. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Can I get a beer and some chicken wings? Coming right up. That will be 125, please, sir. Uh, do you want it on a dish or just want it here? I like to use my hands. I like to hold it with my hands and put it in my backpack. You know what? I don't blame you. That is the best way to eat chicken. I'll, I'll get all the chicken wings. All the chicken wings. Let me count them for you one second. Uh, you know what? I'll do you that for 1,000. How about that? I need to update this menu, to be fair, because we are now out of chicken wings guys, and free chickens, out of whiskey. Guys, free chicken, 100 steak, beef pizzas. 100 free beef steak. pizzas. We definitely don't have 100, but we do have... <laughs> we have four. Have the the best I can do is four. Pleasure doing business. I'll just mark that off the menu. Wow, the food is selling like crazy. I should have made more. Uh, can I get two guys, shrimp burgers, two hat. eel sandwiches, and two carb sandwiches? Uh, yes, you can indeed. And then, can I get three bottles of wine? Oh, well, thank you, you very you much. Can I give you a kiss? Wow. How much tonic oh. water do you have? How much tonic water? Just on its own? You don't want it with gin? I would like to buy all your tonic <laughs> water. <laughs> there you go, sir. I hope you enjoy that. I like spicy water. Six. 60 vodka. You know that that would be like nine grand, right? Okay. Okay, so all the vodka is now sold out. Hope you got the backpack space. Thanks for the tip as well. What would you what would you like to buy? The only things we have left is like gin, sake, and beer. I'll buy all of it. Okay. Okay, you're looking at pretty much 10k. Okay. <laughs> wow, like it's nothing, thank you, okay. You gotta go fast, you gotta go fast. Okay, that is the entire alcohol menu officially sold out. Well, do you guys wanna open up the VIP lounge then? We have an auction going on upstairs for some really, really expensive stuff. Rare Bro, stuff, like one of one. one. These are like one of one. You can't even get duplicates of these, okay? Come on. So welcome to the auction house. This isn't stolen, is it? No, this is not stolen at all. I painted this with my bare hands. So we have a range of paintings. These are one of one. You cannot get these anywhere else. This is no duplicates. These are original copies. And each painting is going to start at a bid of 100k. Do we have any takers for 100k? I'll give you 150, I heard. 200. Man in the purple shirt. Nah, he can have that. He can have that? Okay, 200 going once. He can have that. 200 going twice. 200k sold to the map. Oh, we just got a. 205. Alright, we got a 205. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. 210 and 1. 210 and 1. 210 and 2. 5 or 10k increments. 15. 215. Okay, we got 215. 220. 220, 220 over here. 220 going once. 220 going twice. 220 sold. 220 sold. All right, here we go, sir. 210k. Bro, this paint, this painting changes colors. There you go. Oh, it's massive. Thank you. The next painting. Oh. Wow. 100K really bad, 100K. As you can see, it is a silhouetted skyline of a sunset uh, above the city of uh, Montre. Actually, if you squint, you can see the quirky turkey. 
160. 160 over here. 165. 165. 170. 170. 175. Uh, 180. 180. Going once. 180 going twice. 180 sold to the man with the blue hat. Does it smell like turkey? Nice one. Thank you very much. Is it waterproof? I'm just testing if it's waterproof. It's definitely not waterproof. Is it waterproof? If, if you splash water on it, the candle will go out. We don't want that now, do we? That was me. I'll do 115. 115. 120. 120. Ah, uh, you're, you're, you're mean. 170. 170? 170. 170 going once. Twice. Sold to the man in the Adidas tracksuit. Let's go. Hey, Steve, don't need some money to me, Poor guy, man. Come on. No, 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 you're making it. Thank you very much, one time. Let me just put this away. I will give you 10k right now. This is very nice. Do one of the auction pieces. I would like to hand it over to my co-host for this one particular auction, who's going to give you a lovely description of this painting. Right, today here we have quite an authentic piece actually. It is some random white building that I have found today and painted. Right. I will start the auction at 100k. Do I have any takers? Come on, come on, Me. 100k. 100 Me. We have we have 100k 20. in the green shirt. <laughs> this is pretty good at this actually. I have 120 to wrap one random guy. 160. 160, 160 for the random blue building. Do I hear 170? 160 going once. 160, 160 going twice, three. 160, 160, 160, 160, 160, 170, 170 going once. 180, anyone? 180. 180 to the guy in purple. Do I hear 185? 180 to the guy in purple going once, twice, three times sold to the guy in purple. That was actually really <laughs> good. I can't even back that. That. that was very good. Alex, is that your soul? Yes, this is indeed my soul. Ooh. This is a painting of simply the void. It is just pure emptiness. In fact, the painting is actually called The Emptiness. It's an acquired taste. Seems it's not for everybody, but if you like it, then the, the bidding is starting at 100k. 150k, I heard. 175. 175 we have over here. 180. 180, this is a bidding war. 185. 185 in the rainbow tie. Can Purple Shirt beat it? Purple Shirt has beat it. Rainbow tie, you giving in? Do we have a 195? We do not. Okay, going once. Screw you guys. Going <laughs> twice. 250? Yes. We have a 250. Exactly. I'm out. <laughs> okay, going once. Going <laughs> twice. 250 is sold. We do have one last painting, actually. Um, there is one more. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Yep. <laughs> I thought this might turn a few. Okay. 500k. 500k we have. 650k. We have a 600. We have a 700k. Oh my goodness. 800. 900. 1 million. 1. 1.5. 1.5. 1.6. 1. 1.6. Oh my god. Remember, this is a one of one. 2 mil. Do we have 2 million? Go in once. 2 million. Go in twice. 2 million is sold. To this dapper man right here. Damn. All right. Okay. I got the money, man. Right, sir. So here we go. On his way, man. Oh my goodness, this is insane. This is insane. Thank you so much. I need to. Uh, okay, well there it is. All yours. Uh, let me just put some of this away. Thank you very much for the business, my friend. Have a good one. All right, boys, we're going to have to close up this store right now. But yeah, it is going to be getting light soon. Uh, so we're going to have to close up the quirky turkey. But thank you so much for coming, everyone. Look at all these people out here. There's choppers here and everything. <laughs> all right, boys, thank you ever so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye. So I've just taken all my small bills, and I'm just going to quickly convert them into bigger bills at the ATM. Okay, there we go. We have them all converted into bigger bills. I don't know what's going on there. And now we can count the profits. I am looking forward to this. Okay, this is all the profits we just made laid out here. And this is $5.2 million. I need to go put this away somewhere very, very safe. As you can see, I've had to put extra lockers down just to store it all. I think that is our most profitable night ever. And all we did was sell a bunch of stolen artwork. That is incredible. I really wasn't expecting that much at all. But we are well on our way to buying the mansion now. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like rating. Also, get subscribed for future videos. And I will catch you in the next one.